Hey, this is Sarah with Precision Camera in Austin, Texas. I'm out at Old Stage Park in North Austin. I'm testing out the brand new Lumix G9 today. We're gonna to be testing its new speed capabilities on that little pup right over there. Now, the G9 sits even in Panasonic's lineup with the GH5. Where the GH5 might have a bit more in video features, this guy makes up for in photo features. It has a 20.3 megapixel micro four thirds sensor, the ISO range goes up to 25,600. Something that separates this from the GH5, however, is that in AFC, it can do 20 frames per second. And if it's locked on to a subject in AFS, it does 60 frames per second. In addition, it also has a high resolution mode that compiles eight pictures to get you a solid 80 megapixel frame. Now, ergonomically, you'll notice a few things that are different. We have a top LCD here, which is great and very familiar for DSLR users that might be converting to the mirrorless world. But just like the GH5, we have a touchable flip out screen. We have dual SD card slots, both supporting UHS-2. You'll notice it's missing a drive dial. It actually now lives underneath the mode dial. The body is full magnesium alloy. It's splash proof, it's dust proof, and freeze proof down to negative 10 Celsius. This camera does support dual IS, however, it's 6.5 stops of stabilization versus the five stops we see in the GH5. It's time to get some action shots of Bandit, so I'm gonna switch to the 100 to 300. Now, one thing that makes this camera so special is how fast it can perform. As you might know from other Panasonic cameras, the 4K photo mode and the 6K photo mode are both present here, but what's different about this camera is that it can shoot full res 20 frames per second in continuous autofocus and 60 frames per second in single autofocus. Let's test it out. So right now I'm checking out the drive mode one, which defaults to mechanical shutter. I just switched lenses because the lens I was using was a little tight. So now I'm gonna try the 12 to 60. So now I'm going to try drive mode 2, which defaults to using the electronic shutter. The other thing that makes this camera totally different from other cameras in the Panasonic lineup is its high resolution mode. Now, to do this, you really want to be set up on a tripod or something still. You don't want to be taking pictures of anyone moving around because what's gonna happen is this is gonna take eight frames, stitch them together, and get us an 80 megapixel file. So I have my camera set to F16 to get as most depth as possible. I'm gonna go into the menu, go to the high resolution mode. You can change your picture size to be 80 megapixels or 40 megapixels. I'm gonna go for the 80. We can set this to be JPEG, raw and JPEG, or just raw. I'm gonna do a raw file and hit start, it's gonna do a two second delay. And there you have it. It just took eight frames really quick, all slightly different, compiled them together to create one huge high resolution image. Let's check it out. The G9 is an awesome addition to the Lumix mirrorless lineup, emphasizing capabilities in photo capture and quality, such as high frame rate shooting and high resolution photo modes. Thanks for joining us as we check out the new G9. Come see it in the store for yourself. Don't forget to follow Precision Camera on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and hit the subscribe button for more videos. Oh, and don't forget to follow Bandit on Instagram.